Well, cops down in Ripon have a, a new eye in the sky to fight crime right now. They are the only police agencies in California to get one. Nick James with the department's new powered parachute. Two seats, a motor, and one very large parachute. This strange-looking contraption is Rippon's newest crime fighter. About the size of a golf cart, the powered parachute runs on the same amount of gas as a lawnmower. With this aircraft, we could stay in the air for over two hours around our city. Sergeant Steve Merchant's already getting the hang of flying it. Push right, you go right. You push left, you go left. The benefits are obvious. From the air, it's much easier for cops to spot missing hikers and swimmers. You search and rescue uh, along, along our river uh, that boards the southern uh, city limits. Or scan for marijuana grows, find stolen cars, do surveillance in high crime spots. Ripon police can suddenly cover lots of ground from the air. And did we mention it's cheap? The powered parachute runs about $30 an hour to fly compared to a helicopter, which is about $1,500 an hour to fly. Speaking of helicopters, cops say the nearest one's up in Auburn. Almost time to refuel by the time they get to Ripon, but the powered parachute can get up in the air in 15 minutes. I was hoping they were going to offer uh, to give free rides today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Curious residents stop by for a look. Officers say Ripon is the first in California and one of only seven police departments across the country to take this low-cost aerial approach that could save lives. Hey, if we help one person with this, uh, then the cost will be worth it. Well, besides upkeep and gas, Ripon won't have to even pay a penny thanks to a $30,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Justice. Officers have to train, though, before they can fly it.